What is going on guys, PSV here and welcome back to another video where today we're playing Euro Truck on the New France DLC. So if I just pull up the map, you can see I've got now the new DLC, what covers from Paris outwards sort of thing. So you get Paris on the um, standard game, but from here, if I zoom it out a bit, all this is all the new DLC. So as you can see today we're starting off in Brest bit of a weird name and we're going down to here Rennes and uh, it's only a short little journey but it's enough for me just to have a look first look this is the first time I've actually drove on this new DLC guys so I'm experiencing it the first time as you as well um, we're gonna have a little chat I've got a few I've got a topic to talk about and then you know we're gonna uh, just see how it goes I'm gonna plan on and talk to you about what I've got planned so what we're gonna do is jump into our truck start it up so you have to bear with us guys um i'm not used to driving a left-handed truck so but i thought we better use a left-handed one being we're in france make it a bit more realistic so you will have to bear with us while i'm doing this i'm just going to turn some drive lights on like so so how has everyone been doing i hope everyone is well so it is nearly christmas you're probably thinking, well, it's nearly Christmas, so why is there no Christmas video? The thing is, guys, is that there will be a Christmas video, but in the planning of the next couple of days, I'm going to be recording it. I'm just trying to think of good things to do and just trying to get the right sort of equipment, so like right game mods and stuff like that to make it good. It will be a trucking uh, video, as you all know, they're the most popular ones on my channel, so it will be a trucking one, what's all good. Very much looking forward to doing so where are we going? Um, I was going to turn this into like a put a frosty mod and that to make it a bit more Christmassy, but I kind of thought I want to experience this like this DLC without any mods on it, like to change the physics or even just like the image of it. Didn't really want to change anything like that, so I just want to see what it's actually like. And I tell you what, I'm really really liking it already. It looks so much nicer. So much different trying to drive this left handed one to make sure that's all good. So we're going to get on to the topic that I want to talk to you guys about and that is a question that I've been asked by a couple of people now. I got asked quite a while ago in the comments of an ETS video and um, quite a few months back now and I'm going to cover it and this question I got asked quite recently as well. So. How did I get into Euro Truck and what's the best way to play Euro Truck? So what's like the best console, uh, console best like controller format to use? So this is how it's going to start guys. So we're going to take a nice little trip and I'm going to talk to you about it. If I do sound like I'm sort of slurring a little bit or kind of, you know, not getting my words out fully, it's because I'm trying to take in all this map as well, it's really really nice just having a nice chilled out recording session tonight and I hope it will go to plan so the um, as I was saying how did, we're going to start off with the how did I get into Euro Truck so going back quite a few years ago when I, before I even had a gaming laptop I got the Euro Truck, the very first Euro Truck on my laptop it was laggy as hell. I didn't really have any understanding of computers or anything like that at all at the time. So I didn't really know what, like, how to get the best quality out of it. So it wasn't the best. But I really, really loved it. I've always had a passion for lorries and stuff like that. I'd never ever be a lorry driver just because that doesn't really appeal to me. But I've always had like, I think it's really cool. And when I see a, you know, a simulator game that you can play yourself for as long as you want for you know how many forever sort of thing it, and the way the game was made it really really caught my eye so like I said I was playing it on there but it's really really laggy um, I looked more into it and then I got my gaming computer um, but before that my friend got the new Euro Truck when it came out this was Euro Truck 2 simulator 2 what I'm playing now ETS 2 well, obviously it's going back quite a few years ago now and then I played that and I thought, I've got to get this. So I got myself a uh, gaming computer 
and then I decided to get obviously the Euro truck on it and oh my god it was brilliant it was like heaven I played hours and hours and hours of it I streamed hours of it I've recorded hours of it I've played hours of it offline it's such a brilliant game I've never ever got bored of it like the thing is so realistic it's probably one it's one of my favorite sims if I had to list my simulated games it'll be the top one definitely this would be no matter what so that kind of what I wanted to see and I wanted to see how much it could change as you all know there's not an ETS 3 but there's an ATS but we're talking about ETS at the moment um, and there won't ever be an ETS 3 I don't think because this game is changing day by day from when I very first played it to when I play it now I can't believe how much of it has changed this is mods that you can use this is um, like expansion DLCs that we're playing on at the moment and so on and you know it kind of makes the game more realistic it, it just makes it like a brand new game like right now I feel like I'm playing a new game again because I've never seen this in the game for someone like me and other streamers or youtubers out there that actually play this game a hell of a lot you kind of feel like you're just looking at the same thing but when a DLC like this comes out it catches your eye and that's what I like about this game this is how I very very first got playing it like as I say back then I want to see how the game changed and from now or from then to now it's absolutely amazing how much it has changed it's actually crazy I don't actually believe it to be truthful um, but that's how I like to see it and also all the updates and stuff I like to try and post on the channel I know I haven't posted much in this year on the channel but I'm gonna just talk about all that in my Christmas video we're gonna go through everything and that I've got all of it planned in my head so hopefully that will all go to plan and it will go nice and smoothly with some hope so what was I gonna say so let's talk about now let's get to the topic of con uh, controllers like the best controller format to use so when I first started ETS going back to the very first one I used a keyboard because I didn't think there was any other way of doing it because like I said I had a really really not much idea of computers or what you could do on them or stuff like that I was very very new to it so I just, for a good few months, I used a, until I got my gaming computer it was, so god, probably a good year, a couple of years or so, I was using the keyboard, but even then I had so much enjoyment out of it, because I just thought it was such a cool game, and I just used the keyboard. Then I realised that you could use the Xbox 360 controller, so I went off, went off to the shop, and I bought myself an Afterglow um, wired Xbox controller, it's better to get a wired one if you can use it on the... Um, the computer don't use wireless because then you have to buy adapters it's just more hassle and it. it's actually worth it's not worth it in the long run so just make sure that you get the right one if I actually just get a wired one plugs directly in by USB and then you've got no problems and also you don't get no like connection lag with uh, or you know any lag when you're using wired because it's just a straight port instead where with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you've got, a, you've got that connection problem and that's when you start getting lag out of it you're not getting the right amount getting a bit of a delay and stuff like that so like I said went down the shops bought myself an afterglow Xbox controller and then I got into it even more I thought hang on this has made the game ten times better like what possibly is next sort of thing so this is when I was back at school so this is going back quite a few years now and I kind of was thinking to myself what could make this game even better so I was looking online, I was looking at really, really cheap steering wheels, like really, really cheap. When I say cheap, I was looking at 20, 30 pound steering wheels. Which for a steering wheel, that is blinking cheap. Then I come across the, that one of my friends in, at school actually did a YouTube channel. He kind of let me have a look. And he had a webcam and it had a steering wheel on there. And ever since I see that steering wheel, I was like, I've got to have that. And that is the Logitech G27. So the G27 has many different features, as you all know. It's got a clutch pedal as well as your brake accelerator, and it's also got a six-speed with reverse um, height shifter. <laughs> what more can you ask for for Euro Truck? Come on. So I thought I was scratching around. I was thinking back at this time I didn't have a job or anything. I was thinking, how am I going to afford this? So luckily enough, I managed to get some work off the of family and stuff like this. Earned my way, saved pocket money. And I brought myself a Logitech 27 At the time, it was about 200 and something pound, probably about 200 mark. 
So a fair, fair amount of money. And I tell you what, guys, it was the best money I've spent on my computer. I have no regrets. Like, literally, I would recommend this steering wheel. I know it's a lot of money, but I can recommend this steering wheel to absolutely anyone. This game was... It was a game changer. It literally made this game feel a billion times better. Literally, I never thought this game could get better until I got a Legitech GE27. Just the way you can change gears, like more realistic, you have to use your clutch, you get your biting point, you get your, you know, it all, it all just makes it a lot more realistic. It has your 900 degrees turning, you can add your force feedback, so when you hit a bump, it makes the steering wheel rail like it does in real life. Sort of thing, if you hit a, or go over a bumpy road, you can actually, you'll feel it in the car itself. I, uh, like I say, the day I got this steering wheel, it was the day the game changed again for me. It was massive changes in the game, and since then, I've done nothing but played Euro Truck. I played ATS, but to be honest, it's never really appealed to me. Euro Truck's always been mine, because like I said at the start of the video, is that it's always changing, and I think it's always going to be changing. I'm really looking forward to see what they're going to be adding in like two, three years' time, because I can imagine a hell of a lot has changed. In the short amount of time, stuff has changed to... Or see, add another short amount of time, which was a couple of years. A lot is going to change in this game, and I, to be honest, it's not going to be bad. It's going to be good. I can just tell. So, if I have moaned on a little bit, oh, we better put our lights on. And if I have like sort of, you know, droned on a little bit, kind of got on your nerves, I do apologise. But like I said, this is a nice chilled out video, and uh, I just wanted to just get to you. It's a question that I've been asked several times now and uh, it, I, I thought what's the best way to answer it is to do a video so in the new year guys I have got a lot planned for the channel much I need to put a lot more effort into it but at the moment working in retail at Christmas is just not the one I'm trying to find a spare hour here and there in my evenings to record videos like this one's taken quite a few days to just try and get it out because uh, you know just trying to get a video about why why doing all the hours under the sun in retail at Christmas you've got no hope guys <laughs> it is really difficult it's not the easiest of things to do which I'm sure pretty many of you know you know pretty sure a lot of you know that I can't believe the scenery on this is absolutely lovely so nice it's very very cool so when I do do the Christmas video it is going to be on this front um, DLC so you can still you know have a look at it and stuff like that to see what it's all about but I am going to what's it called make it a bit more Christmassy so I will find a decent winter mod and stuff like that just to make it have that bit more Christmassy feel I have got a lot planned so keep your eyes out I'm not going to promise when that video will be out but it will be out I'm not going to add a set date because if I had a set date and I don't make it, I will not be impressed. And I'm sure many of you won't be either. Oh, it's late. Can you let me go or you didn't get a choice? I swear I see it in flash. This is so cool. Just like these roundabouts and I'm like, what's going on? This is decent. <laughs> has such a new feel to the game I love it so guys if you're wondering how much this DLC was um, don't bother going on Steam or anything like that if you trust other websites if you're one of these that don't trust anything and just want like official Steam or stuff like that then go, go with it I'm not going to tell you what to do but I've uh, got this off of CD keys they are very I've got a few things off them and I trust them with a lot um, I got like I say, I got um, I got a few Xbox games off there, like the codes and download them to my Xbox and stuff like that. They're really really trustworthy. You, they literally you have to they verify it through your phone, email. You ha you have like several things like to safety to make sure you do get your copy. So I would use them because on Steam this is about sixteen pound, and I know it's only a six pound different, but on CD keys I got this for nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine guys. That's ten pound right. Well, pretty much £10. It's 9 99 actually. But what a random place to have a traffic light. Okie dokie. But yeah, it's literally really, really worth it. 
if you've got that extra ten pounds you can spare on your game, then it go to there and get it because that's how much I paid. And I'll tell you what, I am not regretting it. So we're coming up to our destination right now. So cool. I love it. It just looks so what, realistic. It's just crazy. This is more of a better place to have a traffic light. That one back there just kind of looked like it was just, you know, just plonked there for like the fun of it. So guys, hit that like button if you're all excited for Christmas. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because I've got so much planned for this channel. So, here we go. Oh, oh God. Too interesting to see where our drop-off point was. I nearly crashed. Okie dokie, so where has this game changed again? Hang on a minute guys, where's our drop off point? Why is that? This just proves guys how long I haven't played this game for because I haven't had chance. Have they changed this to like ATS? Look how nice this looks. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god, I actually think they have. Oh my god, they've copied ADS. <sighs> okay, we're just going to take the easy one just because I'm not very good at parking. They've copied ADS. Like, it's a good feature in that to have, but really? It just proves how long I haven't played it. Let's like, keep that for ATS. Then don't take away our ETS. Like, what's going on? It's not funny. Right, here we go. Nice, easy parking space for us. Oh, we just had it in there as well. There we go. Let's turn that off. Oh, wrong button. So let's get rid of that. So here we go, guys. That's another video by me. So like I said, if I have droned on a little bit, I do apologise. But I just wanted to cover them questions. If you do have any topics that you want me to talk about, leave them down in the comments. And hit that like button if you're excited for Christmas. Keep your eyes up for my Christmas videos, because that will be out very, very shortly. Without further ado, hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.